Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel Tarot Dreamer. So these are the weekly readings and these are for the collective star signs of uh, Sagittarius, Leo and Aries, so our fire signs. And these are the pick a card readings. So if you could pick your column, we've got column 1, 2 and 3. If you could choose the column that you're most drawn to and uh, we get into your reading. You have an angel message in that column, you have a tarot message and you've got a fortune card as well. So I'll give you a moment to uh, focus on the cards and see which ones you're drawn to and then we'll get into your reading fire signs. Okay guys, let's start with column one. So this is the weekly readings for our fire signs and we've got thoughts here. Now this card of thoughts it can be that you are on somebody's mind at the moment or in fact they are on your mind. This can be a thought, a feeling for somebody that may be outside of the connection as well. So let's see what your tarot message is for this week. And it's ego, wow. An ego in the standard tarot deck is the devil card. Um, this is ego in the angel tarot. And it says a full sense of entrapment and being overly focused on material things, negative or fear-based thoughts. So I feel with this card and particularly with this card, the thoughts card, somebody is obsessing over somebody here um, in a connection they are obsessively thinking about you or you are obsessively thinking about someone you could also feel as if you're bound to to somebody here now your angel message is let go wow all these cards are drawn randomly guys and placed face down on the desk before i do any readings and your your angels are saying let this go so it seems as if someone could be obsessively thinking about you vice versa please take it how it resonates here but it almost seems as if you could be bound by this person here that someone is obsessively thinking about a connection here and the angels are advising you to let it go and let it play out how it should do and to avoid trying to control a situation maybe this week okay that was column one and let's move on now to column two so our fire signs that chose column two your fortune card this week is wow great fortune great fortune so there is great fortune coming in this is usually to do with some kind of financial fortune abundance so let's see what your tarot angel message is and your tarot message is the four of wands the four of fire uh, this is usually the card of home so it could be fortune in your home and uh, it's also the marriage card as well here or um, yeah long-term commitment um, but it says con contentment here peace and abundance and a happy home life the successful completion of a project so this also could be that if you are on track to completing some kind of project here, it will be bringing you financial abundance in this week. But this is usually a celebration to do with a long-term commitment, home and a ma marriage or a happy home life. These are lovely cards here. And let's see what your angel message is for this week. And it is... Oh, and there we go. Big happy changes. Wow. So column two, brilliant cards there. Big happy changes coming in here. The four of wands, which is contentment. It's also the marriage card. It's celebrations. And there's great fortune here. So again, fantastic cards for those that chose column two. Okay, fire signs. And let's move on to your final column column three and your fortune card for this week is pathway so there's a new pathway opening up here for some of you and let's see how it ties in with your tarot card and your tarot card is the six of air the six of one uh, sorry the six of swords 
Now the Six of Swords is normally moving through stormy waters, so you've gone through the worst of it, and now you're decided to move forward into much calmer waters. And it says things are looking up, the end of a difficult situation, and taking a trip. Now this person here, you can see uh, there's the boat there, and it's about to set sail into stormy waters away from all this drama here. And you're going in a new direction. So I feel it's coming away from the drama. Somebody could, could, could be causing you drama in your life this week. And it's saying to just move away from that. Because there's a new direction that's coming in for you. That's a lot more stress free. And there we go. It's up to you. The angel message for you is it's up to you to take yourself away from the drama, away from the stress, and into a brand new pathway. Don't keep getting drawn back in. Okay guys, well I hope you've enjoyed your weekly readings. Do check out my monthly in-depth tarot readings. They are coming out now and uh, they're being put up as we speak. Um, and as always, if you could like, comment and subscribe, I really do appreciate it. We're at 300 subscribers now, guys. Um, and once we reach 777 subscribers, I shall be launching my in-depth love and romance tarot readings. And they'll be monthly based for each of the star signs. So as usual, guys, always believe in yourself. Stay blessed and follow your dreams. And a happy Easter to all of those that celebrate Easter.